hello world i welcome you all to this youtube channel today we want to look at them um, static routing with the use of micro tick routers routing is simply the path that your packet will take from the source to reach the destination and while you want to employ static routing on your network note that two parameters are of importance and they are the destination and the gateway the destination is in lima language is where the packet is going to while the gateway is the entry point from the topology that we have on our screen it comprises of three sites bar which br1 and br2 now the destination for the br1 and br2 is 192.168.10.0 that's the local network at the headquarters and we are representing this local network with a loopback interface for each of the sites and um, the entry point for br1 to get to to access or to get to that uh, network at the HQ is 10.0.0.1. So we want to show us how you can configure this on a Microtik router. We are using um, the user interface, the GUI of Microtik. We can also make use of the new terminal. This will be shown to us as we proceed. Note that the IP addresses of BR1 and BR2 has been pre-configured. I will show us how to do that on HQ and I want us to try this even on our own as well. So let's launch the Winbox for BRHQ, which is what we are seeing. So to create this loopback interface, what we need to do is simply click on bridge, then click on add. You can leave the name as default, you can supply your preference. And what I normally do is that uh, I'll come to STP since I'm not using this feature, I'll select it to be none. Then to create the IP addresses, through the user interface, click on IP, click on address, click on plus. Let's start from the loopback 10.1 slash 24 and attach it to the interface. And then from the new terminal, we can do click on new terminal for it at two for it at two it's going to be in lower case if you are using the new terminal make sure you are, you are using the lower case 10.0.0.1 slash 30 interface it at two then for the data three that will be 10.1.0.1 slash 30 interface will be eta 3. You can see I did not complete it, it's still the same thing. If you want to complete, you can use the tab key for the completion. So I've created the IP address for each interfaces on this particular router. So for me to create the static route, like I said earlier, all I need to do is to come to IP routes and add these ones are these ones are representing the network address of each interfaces that are physically residing on this device is dynamically populated so i want to create a static route all i need to do is to click on plus the destination now 192.168.12.0 all the host on um, the br1 and my gate will be 10 .0 apply ok the same thing as well for PR2 which will be 14 .0, and my gate will be 10 Gateway 10.1.0.2. So this, this is what I was referring to during the intro the destination address, where the packet is going to, and the entry point serving as the gateway. Apply. Okay. So that has been done. And these are routing tables as you can see. 
this is the routing table so for you to check routing table on microtip router just come to ip route or from the new terminal just type ip route print let me just show you how to do that one ip route print it will display it so we'll go to the branches and then configure the static route so that they can reach the hq so for br1 I've already to like I told us earlier, I've already done the IP addresses. I want us to do the same. So click on IP or let's use the new terminal for this. Come to the new terminal. Let's feel like um, programmers. <laughs> IP routes. Press the enter. Add, which is the plus sign, destination address. Just type DST, your tab key to complete it for you. Where are we going to? We are going to the LAN of the HQ 192.168.10.0.24. All the hosts. Then the gateway. The gateway will be 10.0.0.1. I'm coming from BR1. So for us to know if the the route in the routing table, for us to see the routing table of BR1. Since we are already in the IP route menu, we just type print, it will display it. For us to leave this IP route menu, just enter this slash. You can see it will now take you to the new terminal. So you can ping to check if you can reach it. Just ping um, the loop back. One, nine, two, one, six, eight, one, it's reachable. Or you can even specify an address I want to ping it from. No, it's not 12.1, I'm sorry. For the HQ is a uh, is 10.1. So I can reach the HQ. I was pinging the LAN network of BR1. So I go to BR2. And repeat it's the same thing. The IP addresses has been configured. Let's confirm that. Then for us to do the route, IP route, click on the plus sign. I'm going to all the hosts on at my HQ and my gateway is 10.1.0.1. Okay, so if I check my routing table, the network is present there. And since it is present, barring all unforeseen circumstances, I'm expected to have a successful ping to any of the hosts at the head office. So that is a simple step that you are going to use to set up an IP, a static route between networks. But if you have a more complex, like now we are just doing between three, but let's assume it is up to 30, then you have to employ a dynamic route. Any of the IGP that is available, OSPF, RIP. For 30 hops, RIP will not work because the maximum is 15. For beyond 15, go for OSPF. Advisable to use OSPF. That's just an additional tip for us there, in case you are writing any of these um, exams. Watch out for such um, questions. So I thank you for staying with us to practice this. I encourage us to practice more. We are going to be dropping more videos, so kindly like, share, subscribe to this channel as we want to educate us the more on how to grow and manage our network properly. Thank you. See you next time.